Hello guys, welcome to the third episode of Pyrocraft. In today's episode, I'm gonna continue working on my farms. I need a lot of resources to get going in my world. Uh, my first farm is uh, gonna be a shoe cane farm. I need a lot of paper for future trading with villagers and, and for enchanting. Later, I need to craft some books. I already got some enchanted books through fishing uh, that I got here. I built this in the last episode and I got a almost perfect fishing rod. Yeah, the perfect, not almost perfect. Uh, it has unbreaking tree, like a three tree, and mending is most important so that when I fish, doesn't break and the XP I get from oh what what am I doing? And the XP I get from the fishing will repair the tool and it never breaks. So it's awesome and it also has lure lure too. So it's overall best. Uh, I'm going to build three farms for this episode. First one is the sugarcane farm and I needed a place to build around it so that it would uh, keep the noise in because I'm gonna build a uh, one tick pulse farm. I guess that's what it's called. I already got the material uh, for building like sticky pistons, had to find slimes in nearby storm and got a lot of slime balls. I built a single one here or and this place is gonna be for melons and pumpkins so if i ever needed a second one i can continue working on this place or behind that place i don't think i'm gonna go for that i'll just continue one or two here and this place is now abandoned i tried to uh, make the wall buildings here for my wool farm but it didn't work out in the end so yeah I just I don't see any use for it now but now for the sugarcane farm the mechanism is like this I built all of these uh, the sticky pistons pushing two blocks of dirt or I don't think the sand works here because sand falls down I don't know maybe I haven't tried it but uh, you have to use a, a building block here and two uh, regular pistons one on top and bottom of them so they expand and uh, two redstones for here and the uh, building blocks and two redstone torches here uh, I'm not a tutorial channel, but I can uh, tell you this that you can use El Mango's tutorial for this building. And also, you should remember that you should put waterlogged stairs here because the sugar canes need water to grow. So, but the water falls down, so you, just, you can use the waterlogged stairs. Like this, uh, I can pick it up. Uh, I can uh, let this go that way, and the shoe can is going to grow. So, in order to uh, switch the farm on and off, I have a lever. Uh, so, as you can hear, the loud, the farm is very loud, and I can't hear much. You can't, you can't hear me. Can you? Can you hear me? Now, yeah, I almost didn't hear you either. Okay, as you can see, the two kangaroos. Oh my god, it's so loud! But I can't keep going like this, so I sort of have to build a storage system for the all the shoe cane that comes from, and also. I can copy this format alongside here and here. So I'm going to have to build all of these materials again 
and this place and this place so because I need a lot of paper oh my god god take I'm so lucky that a uh, creeper didn't fall ok I'm gonna go to Steve and I'm gonna build other two farms here Hey man, what are you doing here? Get down, get down, get down, get down. I'm warning you, pal. Uh, my over expensive trader. Uh, so I'm almost down with the farm. Yeah, I'm down with the farm, not almost. Why am I saying almost every time? So I just need to light this place up. Uh, so that mobs don't spawn here and I don't have anything for this guy so I just use slab okay uh, okay just making sure and it's so loud sorry for that Okay, I'm done with the farm. I uh, just need to add some goods here. Do you wanna stay here? Huh? Yeah. I told you. Okay, just stay there. And that is our farm. Maybe I should put them on that side. Add a little pepsi to them. Can I? I can? Yeah, this is much better. 